that actually looked pretty cool. <laughs> this might be the dumbest RC we have ever seen. But in all fairness, people love these WPL ready to run vehicles, mainly because they're so cheap. And let's face it, you've got to admit, this thing is different, okay? Now, my daughter is gonna love this. Her favorite color is yellow, and this is just a very kid-friendly little vehicle. You'll notice the attention to detail inside the vehicle. It's got a steering wheel, these seats. The only thing I wish it did do that it doesn't do is open. So you could put your little dolls and Ninja Turtles and stuff inside the vehicle to drive it. This has lights equipped ready to run and one of my favorite features about these WPL vehicles is trying to figure out where does the battery go. Abby, where in the world could the battery go on this thing? It's actually, check this out, see the tailpipe in the back here? It swings out this way <laughs> okay. and then the battery tray pops open wow that is really cool we're gonna drive this for a few minutes just to show you guys what it's capable of i'm not saying run out and buy one but maybe you didn't realize this existed and it is just the missing rc from your collection wait does it have the handles yes so good eye i'm glad you noticed that i opted out of installing these things i generally glue them in if i'm going to run it myself but i know my three-year-old daughter is going to play with this this is going to be one of her rcs okay this is like her rc now and i just didn't want to put all those really small pieces on here so it's nice that it's optional you need to put like dhl side oh, it looks yeah. just like it, it does that's awesome I mean, okay so abby wants one of those cricket makers I for do. christmas i'm gonna have you make some right. red dhl <laughs> letters on here and then we're just gonna go around town delivering rc boxes okay <laughs> that's cool let's drive it we are living <laughs> We were all thinking that and wheels on the bus, you know it. We are living. All right, cut. All right, at least it's fully proportional and variable. That's nice. And these, listen, there's actually a huge fan base for these WPL vehicles. Oh, that was weird. I don't know why the lights blinked so fast like that. That was really weird. So I don't want to like offend anybody because I, I can't believe it. I, I can believe it, but there is a very Cool. These guys are nice people, cult following of these WPL vehicles. And uh, they put out some really good ones. You just gotta kind of be a little easy on these things. They're not really like off it. It's like it's, that's a fully charged battery, you guys, but that's acting like the battery is dying. So who knows, maybe we're getting a little quality control issue firsthand on our channel. We'll see. I'm not sure exactly why it's, it's stopping and then those lights are blinking. So <laughs> no. You know what I thought right when we started driving this? This looks like a vehicle that should belong in a big demolition derby. Oh, arena that would be awesome. To see a bunch of these crunching into each other, especially if it said DHL on the side, see it's stopping <laughs> again. Okay, before we lose our power, Abby and I have a special treat. We want to see if this thing can uh, clear five school bus lanes <laughs> on our ramp. Let's go. Abby got back far, like it's going to go somewhere. It's going to go so high. Go. I know it. Here we go! Oh! <laughs> it that actually looked pretty cool. <laughs> All right, let me get a little closer to the action. And I think the best angle is about right here. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ow! <laughs> the, front oh! the front bumper just got nailed with that one. <laughs> now, if you guys didn't notice this, there's actually some good attention to detail here because there's legitimate leaf springs in the back as its rear shocks. Those are real leaf springs. Now they're a little bit disguised, okay? You have these three like black plastic ones that look like leaf springs. Then you have this metal one that's just kind of bouncy. So they kind of are doing it, but not really. And then up front, it's really innovative how they have the uh, shocks up here too. It's really nice. It just looks good. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but I know a lot of guys that would not, the people that own Traxxas vehicles and Arma stuff, I don't think they're running out there to buy this, but there is this really cool little cult following. And I will admit, these WPL vehicles. Go! Oh, that's so cool. You see, there was so much air, it went off the top of the camera. It really? It did. <laughs> um, Amelia, our daughter, and, and I, we love playing with these things, like in the driveway. We have one that has a flat bed. Woo! And, and she likes to I have, Can I have to try, yes. I have to try. <laughs> I have to drive the yellow car, yellow van. Amelia likes to put like rocks and leaves in the bed of the WPL. 
and you know, and I drive it around, and she's getting better at driving them, so. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty fun. It's a little top heavy. Oh, it's very, fast. very top up. heavy. <laughs> and you know what? Look at those shocks just knocking it around. <laughs> so funny. Here we go! Woo! So, like, <laughs> some. I know, there's divots over here. <laughs> some fun can be had with this. It's just not something that I would get for myself, I don't think. But yes, definitely. <laughs> For my three-year-old daughter. Can you imagine actually being in this right now? Ah! Oh yeah! If you were a passenger in here, oh, it, it would be like, you know, I mean, I'd be scared. these exist, you know, like. Look how much bounce it got. It's over here. it's a lot of bounce. <laughs> okay, there's one ah! little off-road spot that I want to see if it can drive on. Do you want to take it to it before we end the video? Okay, I'll let you drive. Let's go. Oh, oh. not that! Not the one rock. All right, that's okay. Demolition Derby bus. Can you guys believe we're doing this? This is, I wanted to see if it could drive here, but I'm now realizing it definitely cannot. It's rear wheel drive and the clearance just doesn't exist. I was hoping it could, but it's not gonna happen. So yeah. Amelia's gonna love that. <laughs> yeah, she will. And that's actually, I was excited. When I saw how bright yellow this was, I thought this is so perfect for our daughter Amelia. I'm obviously not too pumped about this for myself. It's funny and it's worth a few laughs. And like, I don't know, if you wanted to take some Armas and Traxxas and do a demolition derby and have one vehicle that was the DHL target vehicle, <laughs> I mean, that would be fun, right? But, and there are collectors out there. There are collectors to WPL and I love you guys. You guys are great. Uh, there's nothing, I'm not trying to bad mouth this uh, little company or anything. They're actually surprisingly a lot of fun. It's just a different kind of RC, okay? I'd still say these are better than most things you could pick up at Walmart, like in the store. So good on WPL for keeping the price low and doing cool little detail things. And remember, this would look a lot better with the mirrors and handles and things glued in place. I just chose not to put those in for our daughter's sake. And let me know what you guys think. Now, the best thing I think about getting a WPL for the first time is not knowing where that battery goes. And when I, when I opened this and I was like, Okay, WPL, where is it? Is it under the hood? Is it, you know, where could it be? Because sometimes they are. Uh, I was just like, oh, sometimes they're under the toolbox in the bed. I looked at that and I thought, okay, that turns. That is cool. That's cool. I really, I just love where they like hide the battery boxes. So this will be linked in the description box below if you want to pick one up. It's not something that you want to like off-road and bash and like do crazy stuff with any more than what we just were doing or it won't last that long. It's really meant for like more indoor slash scale driving. But if that's your kind of thing, it's linked there and we had some fun with it today. I want to thank God for this beautiful day and opportunity to get in front of the camera and share this little yellow van with you guys. This is pretty cool. It's pretty fun. And a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters for just allowing us to get in front of the camera and be as transparent as we are. Um, thank you. <laughs> we'll have another fun WPL video popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye!